can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys, welcome back to go back to another video. In today's video, we're actually heading over to the M4 at the body shop. We're bringing the headlights over, we're bringing the hood lights, we're bringing a couple things that the body shop needs to make sure everything is perfectly aligned. We'll bring it back here, we'll take it all back apart, but at least the frame rail is aligned. As long as that thing's aligned, we can pretty much readjust everything ourselves. We just need him to pretty much fit everything and make sure the gaps and everything are looking like a clean title. That is our biggest concern. We wanted to make sure that you can't tell the difference that this was ever in an accident. So, we are taking the headlights to him. We don't want to BS it. I normally just say, hey, just wing it and try to do the best you can because if it's typically a cheap car, I don't want to keep uh, bringing parts over, bringing parts over, test fitting it, costing more hours, costing more money. Um, but this car, it's it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So other than the headlights and uh, pretty much the hood latches, I do need to get the actual hood latches that go into the hood and a couple screws for the headlight itself. So yeah, I got I gotta get all those things out real quick. bag this pretty much has everything like just a little bit of everything that he's gonna need to put on the hood latches and the headlights so uh i think at this point we should just head out to him Here to Antonio's shop. The M4 is just chilling right there. Let's go ahead and uh, just see Antonio and then pull out all the parts from the trunk. It looks like, unfortunately, guys, the M4 does have a flat. So uh, um, it doesn't look like they started working on it yet. So hopefully, they'll start working on it today. I don't know. I brought them this stuff. Hopefully, this should get done in the next couple of days. All right, guys. So I just finished talking with Antonio. So I don't know if you guys remember the boy Jose, but Jose used to work with my boy Antonio. But Jose ended up uh, pretty much started his own like ceramic coating business. So he's been doing really good on his own there. And they're still working together in a way. So that's what I like about it. It's like even though uh, Jose left Antonio, stopped working for him, he opened up his own business. I like how they're still like you know friends and stuff like that and that's when you guys know you guys have true friends when you know one encourages the other to start his own business doesn't just want him to work for himself and only care about himself he does care about his friends making a living and surviving in california because honestly in california if you don't have your own business you're gonna be living paycheck to paycheck unless you're like a doctor or something and you're gonna be busy all the time so yeah I, i'm just really i don't know I, it just put a smile on my face knowing jose's doing well antonio looking like he still has a lot of business which is great i'm gonna be talking to them seeing them if you want me to promote them more i think the last Last time I promoted them, he said you got a little bit too many, so uh, there might be an issue there. We're gonna be talking to him once we pick up the car and if he wants me to promote this, and then you guys can all start coming to him because his body work is really good and really, really good prices as well. And his wait time is not as bad as other body shops. I've had body shops give me a wait time of a month, and you guys know as a YouTuber, I don't have a month to wait, so that is that. Anywho, so I think that's that. There's nothing else I can really do with the M4 as of today, so it's just a little small little update. Let's head back home, get some Chipotle, and uh, see if we can either do something on this car or maybe go buy another car. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe we have to get some Jamba Juice breakfast next time. Sheesh, come on, my God, guys. <laughs> it just looks so good. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew, but they actually discontinued the i8. So something you guys keep in mind if you ever want one. I mean, I think they're gonna go up in value just considering that they discontinued them. So again, that's just Nora hoping for the best here. <laughs> All right, guys, give me a second. I just want to enjoy this real quick. Got to get back to you in a little second. Now, guys, as much as I love Chipotle, from the last video, you guys knew that my fiance came down from Canada, and I've been just super excited to just hang out with her. I've been hanging out for the past couple of days, um, obviously with family and stuff, which is how our tradition and everything works. But yeah, I've been with her family, and we've just been having a good time, and I've been hanging out with her, and we tried this one, like, falafel I'm Arab for those of you guys who don't know and I tried this falafel place that I don't, I don't normally eat Arab food so when I tried this falafel 
sandwich from this place. I think it's called, um, what is it called? Uh, it starts with a B. I'll let you guys know down the road, but it was so good. I've never tried a falafel sandwich like that before. <laughs> if you guys want me to try some air food on the channel and show you guys, let me know down below. But as for now, we're just gonna enjoy our Chipotle and um, yeah, yeah. If you guys are wondering uh, what me and my girl are eating or doing and stuff like that off of YouTube, make sure to check out my link down below on Instagram. I pretty much try to post, you know, some things here and there. I'm, I'm obviously not trying to involve her too much on the channel or Instagram or anything just yet. I kind of want her to, if anything, ease into it. If anything, if she doesn't want to, she doesn't have to. But if she does like social media ever so slightly, I kind of want to ease into it. I'm just like, hey guys, here's my fiance, you know? For those of you guys who are also wondering, um, she's just visiting for now. So I, we have the month off for spring break. And um, shout out to everyone who's gone through finals and everything. I know it must have been super hard. I just finished my finals for this semester. I have one last semester left next semester and hopefully graduate. Hopefully be grinding even more boys. But yeah, she's coming over here just to visit, chill and stuff like that until uh, till school starts, unfortunately. Anyway, let's go ahead and enjoy our Chipotle and stay positive here. Just finished my meal and we got the hood here from Keys Morsos. This is actually very unexpected. Did not think it was gonna come this early, but we got the hood and uh, oh my God, they went above and beyond in the packaging. I mean, check that out. So I did order a hood before. It wasn't from Keys Motorsports. It was from another company that I work with. And unfortunately, it was really badly dented like somewhere over here. Um, as for the packaging, it looks really, really, really good. I think these are just supporting boxes right here. Um, it looks pretty good. I guess we'll find out when we take it out. But again, honestly, I don't really know how much better you can package a hood. I don't know how much they exactly paid for shipping, but this does not look cheap. I'm just happy it's here. It looks really good. And just shout out to them for going above and beyond. Let's go ahead and just cut off all these things. See if there's anything in these little boxes. I think they're just pretty much supporting boxes. And then open up the hood and make sure the hood is in good shape because we really, really, really want to make sure this is good before we actually keep it and uh, contact the shipping carrier if there is any damages. I just triple check the hood. I honestly cannot believe, again, how well packaged this hood is. But, um, oh my God, this looks so good. I've been missing this hood since it was on my 435. And this is just an improved version for the M4. So I'm super, super, super excited for this. If you guys need any kind of GTS hood, whether it's for a 435, 335, M4, even they even have it for the E90 chassis, make sure to check out Keys Motorsports, link down below and use my code. But yeah, this is just, oh my God, absolutely stunning and great shape. I'm actually gonna keep this box and keep that for the hood that I borrowed from BMA European so I could repackage it perfectly for them. Huge shout out to them for letting me borrow the hood. Currently the cars at the favorite shop getting worked on. I'm going to start taking apart all this stuff, putting it in the backyard so um, I can get rid of all this easier because again, great packaging comes with a, a great amount of work, but it's definitely worth it. <laughs> Guys, I started buying some new fitness things and uh, we just have a lot of boxes right here. Some more in four parts and four parts and four parts. Hopefully we should be getting the M4 soon and then we're gonna be literally starting to put everything onto the car, get rid of all these boxes. And I just cannot wait for the M4 to be back on the road. I've been talking to FCP Euro as well. We're trying to get all the maintenance stuff done because once we get all the maintenance stuff done, we can actually take it to the track. My friend Blake Austin, who I'm gonna be tracking the car with, is saying that the car does need racing brakes and racing brake fluid or something like that. So we're probably gonna have to order those because I don't think FCP Euro sell racing things because if they did, um, the warranty is gonna be really taken advantage of. Because <laughs> if it's going on the track, burning them, it's like tires. They would never sell tires because you could just do burnouts, send it back, and then send you a new set every single week or every single month. So that's obviously very unprofitable. Anywho, let's go ahead and go upstairs and just look at some cars that we can get on the channel because the M4 is a great build, but it's also a build I want to perfect and I'm gonna take its time when it goes to the paint shop, when it goes to the body shop like it is right now. So I'm actually considering we need another car as well because I don't want to keep dealing the i8. It's a great car, but there's some places I just don't want to take it. I wish I had another car to take it. And when I gotta go get parts, I don't want to keep using this car to keep messing up the interior and stuff to throw parts in it. We need another car for our parts running. So we're gonna be looking for some cars later tonight and I'm wondering what car we should probably go with, like an X5 or maybe a wagon or you know maybe just a cool little fun daily I, I really don't know we have to we have to see the market's really 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 expensive right now so we might even look at some copa cars we'll have to see all right guys so i found this car um just very quickly i was just searching through offer up and i found this list about a week ago it's a seven series something we haven't had on this channel yet it runs his drives it just has a cracked headlight cracked bumper i don't know if you guys can see that uh let's go ahead and see if we can zoom in there so yeah cracked headlight cracked bumper um the bumper is maybe 200 bucks that headlight probably five hundred dollars nothing too crazy uh it does have a lot of you know features that a 7 series has which is super cool i love how it's black because if i was ever to get a 
Limited series, I would want something black, mainly because it's like a limousine type of look. And one of my favorite photos is this interior picture. This interior actually looks really good. Like the two-tone, I think looks really good. It looks like it has the extended leather package as well, the sports seats. So this is actually like something really, really, really nice. At the same time, this, believe it or not, is an N54. It's a 7 uh, 40 li so this is probably one of the most reliable 7 series out there a lot of trunk space i think if we can get this down to 35 we should get it um i did uh text them through here and we we did get the price down to 4,000. so that being said i think we're gonna get it down to 35 in person so i mean let's just go check it out it's not too far from here Five minutes out, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to record on my phone. I'll show you guys in the next few seconds what I get on my phone. I don't want to have my camera out, it's just it's too obvious and it's a little. Oh, here's my mom. Okay, so I'll let you guys know as soon as we get there. The car does drive, the car does start. I'm sorry for being super dimmed down and let me see if I can change that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So yeah, the car, it has every light you guys could possibly imagine on the dash, transmission light, engine light, uh, pretty much everything. Sunroof doesn't work, a whole bunch of electronical issues, salvage title, 165,000 miles, is this 7 Series really worth the money? I need you guys to let me know down below. I don't know if I'm even gonna purchase it. It's actually really bad, but that's it. That's what this channel is about. Can we actually save this 7 Series? It's not about buying a car that we know we can save. Can we save this 7 Series, this heavily depreciated uh, like limo? <laughs> it is the extended version, so it is very long, which is super cool. It has a lot of nice options, but it doesn't have full options. But yeah, let me know down below, guys. Should we cop the 7 Series? Let me know down below. Is it worth saving, or is it one of the those cars was like just just let it go let it go it's all good guys, it is a 7 series and um it, it, it it's just something we haven't had on the channel i am just i'm, I'm curious i'm curious Ken, is this something that's you know a big headache people know is a 7 series probably one of the most unreliable cars on the market and from the looks of this one i mean it looks it looks like that's true and that's why they depreciate so badly also get this thing to 2,000 likes and that's another sign that i know you guys really want me to get this 7 series as well while we're building the m4 might as well build another build as well so let me know down below guys smash that like button without further ado guys i'll see y'all in the next one i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out